Here's how you can use the Choose function in Excel, which is often used for financial modeling. In this case, we have revenue projections for three years, but we're not certain about the exact revenue to expect. So instead of relying on a single number, we have three different scenarios, a best case, a base case, and a worst case. We want to be able to switch between these scenarios dynamically based on our expectations. This allows us to adjust the numbers depending on whether we anticipate a strong performance or a weaker outcome. To do this, we'll use the choose function. We'll start by typing equals to choose and pressing the tab key to auto-complete it. The first argument we need is the index number, which determines which scenario to display. This will be the cell where we input a number to choose between best, base, and worst cases. We'll then press F4 to lock the reference, ensuring that it stays fixed when copied across cells. Next, we'll input our three values, the first being the best case scenario, the second being the base case, and the third being the worst case. After closing the parentheses, we'll press Enter to apply the formula. To extend this formula to other cells, we'll use Shift plus right arrow to select the range and then press Control plus R to fill it across. Now, by default, we are in the best case scenario, but if we change the index number to two, the revenue updates to reflect the base case. Similarly, selecting three switches it to the worst case scenario. This makes it easy to adjust financial projections dynamically and analyze different possible outcomes.